Welcome back everybody, May 2nd with another activated buoy. As you can see, we are on the western edge of the United States and Canada by the northern edge of the Juan de Fuca fracture zone. More specifically, this would be considered west of Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, which we can now add to the string of buoy activations that have been going on between the Andaman Sea, the Indian Ocean, and now the Eastern Pacific Ocean. Now in this particular situation, we may have an actual answer again a very weak earthquake as we switch over to volcano discovery because of course the USGS does not have this one labeled about two hours and 40 minutes ago we had a 3.2 earthquake taking place at about 10 kilometers in depth in the general area of where this buoy is now back to the national data buoy center chart the only thing that has me thrown off a bit is how very quickly this buoy rose just over 10 meters then shot its way down an additional 20 meters only to then rise again about a another 10 before plateauing out as you could see on the chart. So basically the main reason I'm bringing this to your attention is one, the USGS has not reported the earthquake that could have triggered this buoy, and two, the strength of this earthquake tends to not be the cause of these buoys going into activation mode. But yet again, here we are finding ourselves looking at a very quick jagged tug or snag at this buoy that clearly put it into activation mode within a very dangerous and known fault line that borders western Canada and the US with not a single bit of news coming from the USGS about what could have caused this. I guess for once based on all the situations going on that we covered in the Andaman Sea and the Indian Ocean we at least have Volcano Discovery reporting an earthquake within the vicinity of this buoy although a very weak earthquake at only 3.2 magnitude and 10 kilometers in depth which is about 6.2 miles. It is certainly not something to be ignored and I absolutely thought it needed to be brought to everyone's attention, especially dealing with the situations we have been with the Andaman Sea and the Indian Ocean. It's probably a good idea to monitor this area of Western US and Canada moving forward, which is something I'll be doing here today. I have another video I'm preparing to release later on for all of you, and I hope to see you there. I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch this video. Shout out to Canada, and we will be talking very soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Stop right there, my friends. If you have not already, click that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the bell icon click all and you will get all notifications from this channel and trust me you won't be disappointed